Hi, I'm Melissa, RDH and Senior Burst Ambassador. In my latest video, I'll be discussing the use of cannabis, also known as marijuana, pot, weed, Mary Jane. I'll be using the term marijuana and cannabis interchangeably throughout my video. And I do want to add, I am not expressing my opinion whether you should or should not use marijuana. My main focus of my video is to inform you how marijuana can affect our oral health and the latest research regarding marijuana use being possibly linked to Alzheimer's. But I first wanted to start off with the history of cannabis. Cannabis is the most widely used drug in the US. It is likely originated in Asia around 500 BC and it was primarily used for medicinal purposes. Now the earliest evidence of cannabis being burned was found in an ancient wooden artifact in a Western China cemetery. It contained traces of burned cannabis seeds that date back over 2,500 years ago. Now the history of cannabis in America dates back to the colonial age where hemp was grown and used for rope and textiles. Now recreational use in America was introduced by the Mexican immigrants after the Mexican Revolution of 1910. It eventually got banned in the U.S. in 1970 with the passing of the Controlled Substance Act. Now, the first states to legalize recreational use in 2012 were Colorado and Washington. And by 2016, majority of states had already legalized medicinal cannabis. 24% of young adult Americans use marijuana. And it can be smoked, orally ingested, and used topically, and varies in potency. Cannabis use can have very positive effects for mental illness, like reducing anxiety and stress. Many also get their feeling of euphoria and also help expand on their creativity. Cannabis use is also known to help reduce the side effects of chemotherapy in cancer patients, specifically treating their nausea and vomiting. But in high doses can lead to an increase in heart rate lasting up to three hours, high blood pressure, paranoia, delusions, and hallucinations. Studies of marijuana users have shown it can actually triple the risk of gum disease, causing the swelling, infection, and whitish gray lesions called leukoplakia. Most cases of leukoplakia are non-cancerous, but some can have early signs of cancer. Head and neck cancers are over two and a half times as likely to occur among marijuana users. It is very important to see your dentist if a lesion doesn't go away after two weeks to determine if a biopsy is needed. Xerostomia or dry mouth is a very common symptom with marijuana users. Dry mouth happens when THC binds itself to the salivary gland receptors, keeping the submandibular glands from secreting saliva. Dry mouth can increase the buildup of plaque on teeth, causing a greater risk of both gum disease and tooth decay. Ever heard of having the munchies? The THC in marijuana triggers neurotransmitters, which produce cravings. This leads to consuming highly carogenic foods. This can result in an increase of tooth decay. Now, long-term use has some cognitive negative effects leading to impaired memory, learning, and motor skills. Unnatural changes in the oral microbiome known as dysbiosis can allow harmful bacteria to thrive in the mouth and even enter our bloodstream. This can lead to damaging other organs such as the brain. While the oral microbiome is the DNA of microorganisms that reside in our oral cavity, Dysbiosis is the imbalance between the types of organisms present in a person's normal microflora. In a December 2021 study conducted by Dr. Wai Zhang and her research team showed frequent cannabis use alters the oral microbiome. They found unusually high levels of bacterium acidomyosis myri in frequent cannabis users. In this study, mice orally exposed to A. myri for six months showed an increased inflammation and more amyloid beta proteins in their brains. These proteins are thought to be linked to long-term memory loss and Alzheimer's. Dr. Wai Jung's theory is long-term exposure to THC, but not CBD, will increase levels of amory in saliva and lead to harmful neurological effects in mice. In their next study, they want to identify the specific effects of THC and CBD on oral microbiome dysbiosis and mental health. They will explore the mechanisms underlying the link between high levels of amory in the oral microbiome of frequent cannabis users and neurological disease. And they do expect the research to show greater memory loss being associated with higher levels of amory in frequent cannabis users compared to non-users. Dr. Zhang hopes to develop therapeutics that target the oral microbiome and frequent cannabis users with neurological disorders. I wanted to end my video by expressing how important it is to keep up with your oral care. Visit your dentist and dental hygienist at least every six months and make sure you do brush and floss daily 
to prevent gum disease and tooth decay. It can add years to your life. Now I plan on doing a part two video once their latest study is complete to share their clinical data. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to drop them below. And stay tuned next week as Chris Michelle will discuss postpartum and your oral health. Take care.